I became an engineer because I did want to make the world a better place. I knew there would be global challenges facing us, like whether it's climate change or growing populations or increased urbanisation. And although I liked the maths and physics elements of it, I knew that the people part was what appeals to me. I don't think that I've faced any challenges as a woman in engineering, but I know that I'm confident and I can face those. I know there's a lot of women and young girls that don't have that same level of confidence and it shouldn't, shouldn't be fair that they don't get the same opportunities. I love my job. I really love it because every day I can go out and know that by the end of the day I will have done something which I feel is rewarding, not just so I don't, I don't feel like I've just gone to work to pay the bill. Uh, those bits are just a byproduct. It, sometimes it's like being paid for what I enjoy doing. It's like you know, being paid for my hobby. I love engineering. I love improving things, solving challenging problems, interacting with people, environment, and making things better. It's what I do. It's what I'll do on my holiday if I had the chance uh, to do it, but I normally wouldn't. So yeah, I, uh, I love it. Well, at school, when I was choosing my GCSEs, uh, I chose my optional subjects to be art and drama because I liked them, because I enjoyed them uh, for no other reason. I had to do all the um, science, English, maths, languages and history, but I really, really enjoyed art and drama. So I'm, I'm going to do this. Um, and, and those were my options. And I didn't really think about what career I'd be doing at that stage or or any kind of job. Uh, I think when I was really small, I wanted to be a farmer's wife. and um, But I soon realised that maybe I wanted to do more than that in Guernsey. There's not a lot of farming left. And so when I came to think about um, what career to do, I... I really did also enjoy the analytical side, the maths and the science, and I, it was hard to find a way where you could do science and art at the same time because it's all so sectioned into different subjects at school and it's like you're either good at science or you're good at art. You're either an arts person or you're a maths person. You don't do both. You're not good at both. Um, and it wasn't sold to me that there was careers where you could do everything. And uh, I remember speaking to the careers teacher and they said, oh, what's your favourite subject? So I said, art. I love art. And they're like, right, so you can do an art degree. And it's like, no, I don't think my dad would be very happy. He's not really an art fan. And um, he says that you don't make any money out of art and how you're going to look after yourself. So, but I, it wasn't the art that I loved, it was the creation and being creative. And I came across engineering because I loved the maths and physics side and had a little go at electronic engineering and I looked into mechanical engineering, but then I found civil engineering and you got to create things, real things that you could see that would always be there. And that's what I thought, wow, yeah, I can do this. And I found in my career as a civil engineer that you can be really creative. Um, you can draw things, you can design things, and you can have control over what they look like. And also not just being creative as in a visual creative um, perception, but also you're creating solutions to problems. And so you can use your creative skills to be able to solve a problem in a different way by being able to look at things differently to how the everyday person might see them. I, I'm very proud of what I do. I think if you ask my girlfriend that, she'd uh, be sick of hearing about all the projects that I've worked on and point out every single time I drive past them. Uh, but I'm, I'm very proud. Uh, I love the profession that I'm in. Uh, and I've, I think even though I've only been in the industry for four or five years, I think I've done some, some really worthwhile work. I would say that engineering has no gender and that just because you're a woman or just because you're a girl it doesn't make you any less clever any less as strong or any less important really to contribute to society as an engineer. My name is Claire Oliver I'm a senior civil engineer with a large multinational company called Amec Foster Wheeler. I'm based in London and I currently work in the waste industry which making, means making sure that your rubbish bags have somewhere to go. It means that I work with everything through from the small waste transfer stations all the way through to the incinerators and gasifiers where your rubbish gets processed into an energy source. I am obviously not from the UK, I'm from New Zealand and I moved here two years ago, almost to the day in fact. I did a civil engineering degree at the University of Auckland and prior to that I was at an all girls high school. And it was at high school I thought about engineering as a career. 
I went to see my careers advisor and she told me she had no pamphlets on engineering, would I consider doing science? And I thought engineering was a good mix of the people side, the organisational side, the management side and the giving back to the community, which I knew I wouldn't get if I did a science degree and potentially became a scientist in a lab coat. That was never going to work for me, I was far too interested in the people. So despite the fact I'd been recommended against engineering by my careers advisor, it was very hard and full of maths and full of boys, which I thought was brilliant, they, I then went to see my maths teacher and she said, engineering very hard, very lots of maths, lots of maths, full of boys. And I thought, hmm, okay, I'm getting a bit of a theme here. Then I went to see my physics teacher and he said, I think it's a great idea, there's a scholarship available, I'd like to write you a reference, here it is and consequently got the scholarship and went on to do engineering and here I am today. So my name is Alexis Field, I work for Highways England. Um, I grew up actually in quite a working class family um, but I just wanted to get out of that circle of being in that environment um, and actually what got me out of it was wanting to be a pilot in the Royal Air Force. So um, I spent a lot of my youth going um, to sort of air, air cadets and interesting things like that. Um, I did loads of shooting and flying and it was fantastic and that's all I wanted to be from a very young age I think. Um, and then when I got to sort of 16, 17, um, again, that was my chosen career path. So, you know, all of my subjects at school, um, my chosen university and everything was built around that. Um, and then I had the disappointing news that actually pilots can't have asthma. And I did when I was a child. And so it wasn't an option to me anymore. And um, it was just before I was about to go to university. So I had a place in university and that's sort of all I ever wanted to do. And then 9-11 happened. And um, I remember being at home with my mum and the news was on television and I saw that second plane fly live into the second tower. And I, it was at that moment in time where I thought, I don't want to be involved in aviation. I want to be involved in building structures that save people's lives and, you know, benefit the wider society than just an airplane that might zip around or, you know, if you're in the military, then it has a sort of greater um, impact on people. And so it was at that point that I decided to do civil engineering and I haven't regretted it since. I think my, just na my natural way of being is all about doing something for society and I think that's what engineers do. We don't choose the job because we want to earn loads and loads of money. We do it because we're sort of interested in building stuff and creating things and solving problems and that's what I've always wanted to do and that's what I'm happy doing now. My advice for anyone who's aspiring to be an engineer is to um, look at the wide variety of options available to you and see what appeals, um, try things out, keep up um, your STEM subjects at school and just be curious, continue to be curious. I think that as children we have a, a very em uh, emphatic enthusiasm for everything and how things work and I think we should really try and keep that alive because um, that makes good engineers. Civil engineering is about everything that we do to construct and maintain and operate our built environment, uh, everything that we see around us. So everything below ground uh, that you don't see, so sewers, how you get all your electric and water to your houses, um, all the roads that we drive on today, uh, bridges, um, everything that you see around us that's actually been constructed has been and been influenced by civil engineering. 